Hi everyone, my name is Umu and I run React to the K, so today I'm here to give you several updates on several different things. The first one being the coronavirus has affected or will affect our release schedule for reactions and that is because if you didn't know already classical musicians react series that happens at the eastman school of music campus um, it is eastman school of music students and graduates who react on the channel and basically our university and university of rochester has told everyone to go home for the remainder of the semester and to just take classes online and so that means People will not be in the same area as me, and therefore I will not be able to film the reactions to some things that are we had, like they haven't reacted to yet. And so that means we are going to be having to end our schedule a little bit earlier than planned. Uh, I have a schedule release document for reactions up. I will link that in the description. Basically, it just tells you when we're going to be releasing things. And then if you are our supporter on Patreon, you are able to vote and rearrange the order of that stuff. But usually it stays mostly in order. And basically, we're just going to have a longer hiatus than usually planned because I cannot add any new songs to the schedule from here on out since most of the reactors are leaving after this weekend. As for me and the other seniors on this channel, most of us are staying in the area, so we might be doing more live streams now that we don't have everyone on the channel able to do reactions. We might do some more Patreon content. Um, luckily, you guys won't notice a change in the release schedule until later in the summer, which is when reactions will start coming out maybe once a week, and then there'll be like a month gap between when we'll stop releasing things and when we'll start releasing things again. Now, like I said just a few seconds ago, um, that I am a senior, meaning I am graduating this year. It was up in the air for a very long time whether classical musicians react or even react to K in general was going to continue after I graduate. And the answer is 98% sure yes, it will continue. My lease in the apartment that I'm staying in right now lasts another year, so I thought why not just stay another year here as a break? I don't really want to go to grad school and I don't really have a full-time job knocking on my door right after I graduate, so why not stay here and continue to work on the channel, start up more series that I didn't have time to do before while in school. There will be a hiatus though because I will have to replace a lot of the reactors on the channel who are graduating and moving away from New York, so I would love to continue the Classical Musicians React series. To all the people who have reached out to me to say, your reactions have made me more interested in maybe picking up music theory. Your reactions have made me want to pick up my instrument that I dropped a few years ago. Like, even the songwriters who've reached out to me and saying, yo, we love the feedback you give us, or the very few K-pop stars who've notified us that they actually watch the channel like that gives me so much inspiration to continue this channel and to continue putting out content that you can learn from and also enjoy and have fun with at the same time so next year unless i get like this huge job offering of like you know my dream job yes i'm staying in rochester i'm continuing the youtube channel now, the next thing I wanted to update you guys about, because I know we didn't do the Meet the Reactors update video at the beginning of season four. I'm so sorry about that. Basically, a bunch of reactors auditioned to be auditioned, applied to be on the channel later than planned. So then when we finished recording the introductory videos, it was like already a month or two into the series. So I was like, oh, it's so late, maybe I don't have to do this. So I never really cleared up like who left the channel and why. So just to put it all out there, Gwen and Hugo left the channel during season three? Was it at the beginning of season three? They left the channel about a year or two ago because Hugo's professor asked him to concentrate on his studies because he's a dual degree, so he's crazy busy. And so basically all all his extracurricular activities were cut so he could put all of his energy and attention on finishing up his leftover classes. He's in his fifth year right now. And then Gwen started working full time and said she preferred to, if she did react, to just react to the live vocals. And we had to stop the classical vocalist react series because channels that were reacting to live performances, like either the live shows or live performances like Immortal Songs 2 and any 
Korean show that was like broadcast live on TV started being taken down. So I was like, oh shit, I don't want to be taken down. So I stopped that series, therefore Gwen stopped reacting on the channel. Um, Peyton, Jared, guitar player, <laughs> Colin, <laughs> sorry Colin, um, and Charlotte. As for them, those were all graduated people. So they graduated and they moved away. Charlotte graduated, but then did student teaching in the area, but she was so busy student teaching, she didn't react on the series. But you'll actually see Jared appear on the channel once in a while, because he's still in New York, but New York City, which is an eight hour bus away. So once in a while, we'll like meet up and do vlogs or something like that. This upcoming year, we have quite a few people leaving the channel because all my friends on the channel were in the same grade as me when I first started this. So a handful of them will still be staying, but also a lot of them will be leaving. And I'll try to do a live stream with those who are leaving before we part our ways. But I think after this year, Kevin might be the only person from the OG cast on the channel, because I believe Henry is graduating and moving elsewhere and Fiona is graduating and moving elsewhere. But with time, things change. And once you react on this channel, everyone's welcome back whenever, but we are all spread across the globe right now so that's why you haven't been seeing faces that you maybe were wondering where they went and the last thing i'd like to update you guys with i've never done like a huge like announcement thing about this but we have i think i've finally found the way of how we pick uh songs to be featured on the classical musicians react channel like the way that we've picked songs to be shown has changed over the past few years and i think i finally found a way that makes me the most proud of the content that we put out and that is, is we have a voting panel of Eastman musicians who aren't on the channel and classical musician reactors who have graduated from Eastman and who do not react anymore on the channel. And basically I am subscribed to every single music label, every single K-pop music label on YouTube. I have notifications on. And so I have this gigantic, like 3000 song long watch later playlist that I go through when I have time and I listen to songs and then I send them to the, voting panel and basically I'm trying to be as least biased as possible like you know there will always be some sort of bias because you know we're human and if you're curious about our thought process while listening to a song and putting it on our will not react to will react to or not so sure playlist I actually have quite a few videos on our patreon for those who support us with full in details of Kevin and I going through a playlist of different k-pop songs and talking about why we would vote it to be reacted to or why we wouldn't react to it. So we're uploading a lot of behind the scenes content on Patreon because by the way, I don't earn any money from YouTube. Um, every single song that we react to is actually monetized by the label that owns the music and not me. So if you support me on Patreon, thank you so much. We are able, I'm able to afford assistant editors. I'm able to afford a few people who I just hired to translate our videos to Korean so we can spread our videos to Korean fans and all this qu equipment I was able to purchase because of you guys. So shout out to the patrons, shout out to the people who will be our patrons in the future. Thank you so much. But it isn't just me who makes the decision of whether songs are reacted to or not. And I know some people are confused why we don't react to big artists or songs that are super, super popular. And that is because the popularity of the group or song really doesn't matter to us. It's the content of the song itself. Does it sound like other songs we've heard before? And will the reactors therefore be like, oh, we've heard this before. And that be, you know, the main focus of their comments. Or will it be, you know, like, oh, these are elements we've heard before, but they're doing it in a different way that makes us view the song differently. Like we try to approach the songs and listen to them and think, okay, well, the people currently on the Classical Musicians React series, Will they have a lot to say about? Will they be excited? Will they be mind blown? Will they be able to throw out a bunch of different music theory terms and I'd be able to put the definitions in the video and teach you guys new things? Like that's the way we, I have learned to approach things and I understand if it isn't as fun as it used to be, but I like this year has, I guess 2020 so far and the end of 2019 has been the happiest I've ever been putting out content. So. I have finally found the flow and the way of producing content that makes me just really satisfied as a creator. And I've seen a lot of people enjoy the, the new way I approach editing videos. So I'm super excited um, to continue to do that. Just thank you so much for your support. 
whenever you like or dislike a video, please comment. I'm reading comments now because I could really use all the constructive criticism and all the joy that my videos bring to you, or maybe not joy, and just please do not be afraid to give me all your feedback. Um, some things I just can't change, and some things I, maybe I can. So thank you for watching this, and I hope I answered most or all of your questions. I'll see you guys later.